Uh, he's starting out here with a pretty good triangle, uh, which is the uh, created by the arms and the shoulders. But it looks a little tight. So we'd like to relax that a little bit. Let's watch the takeaway. Brings the club back to parallel. Now you see you see a, a good view that he's rotated his hands. Uh, he's got the knuckles to the ground of both hands. The toe of the club is up. Kind of a short backswing. What we talked about is that we want the club to release at that point. Even though a short backswing, we still get a lot of club head movement. Then he's going to come through. And, and the problem is right here, he keeps the left hand under the club. So if you look at this position and you compare it to this position, you can see a difference. Uh, we want it to look the same, only in reverse. So what we should be able to see here, and I'll blow this up, we'll put a circle around it, we'll blow this up, is we should see the lead hand, or in this case the right hand, under the trail hand, the left hand, uh, and we don't. So we're not getting a good rotation of the club like we do on the backswing. So let's work on that. That's called releasing the toe of the club over. And at the same time, we want to see a little bit more reaction uh, through the right, uh, to the right side with the left knee and the left hip.